What is going on fellas and welcome back to episode 2 of my non league to legend series where we're going to have our first games as Cove Ramblers manager. It's only been 6 days since the first video which came out yesterday and we've not done a whole lot really. We've put together a tactic. I've the chairman has uh, made an offer for a player called Jake Gorman. I don't know a whole lot. I don't know a whole lot about him. He's a right winger. Um, interestingly, he's from Bally Buffet, which is in Donegal. So he's going to go from Donegal at 16 years old, move to Cove to play for Cove Ramblers. Whatever boats you float. This is the tactic we're going with. It's a little bit interesting. Uh, it's a bit asymmetric. I like, I'm not a huge fan of asymmetric, but needs must. Actually, no, we're, we're, we're going to play, we're going to play O'Sullivan. Um, he's not actually good at being a defender on defend he's just going to play on cover so for our first game in charge against Wexford who are three points behind us in the league we have Mylod in goal Fleming and Taylor playing as our wing backs McSweeney and O'Sullivan as our centre backs O'Reardon who is a centre back who can play as a DM but wants to be a ball winning midfielder is more suited to a half back so we're going to try him as a half back uh, then we have Turner Henry and Lamb as our midfielders then we have O'Leary playing as an attacking midfielder and Murphy playing as a poacher because our strikers can't do anything other than poach um Lamb is a centre midfielder who likes to attack but can also pass a football so he's going to be a playmaker and Henry well he can't really do a whole lot he's Probably more of a like, no, he can't be a ball winning midfielder. He's got five aggression. He's not really anything. He's got lots of potential, but doesn't. He makes decisions. He, he's quick. He's agile. He's naturally fit. He's got pace. He would be blown over by a gust of wind. Um, not even remotely brave. Gets terrified by his shadow, and is less aggressive. Then a dead goldfish. Other than that, the guy's fantastic. Brilliant. Played for UCC for years. Never actually played a game. Ex Cork City. That's, you know. He's 25 years old. He's barely played a game of football. He's a fringe player, but we don't we don't really have an awful lot. David Hurley is, you know, to be fair, actually, I should probably play him. Do you know what? You've talked me into it. David Hurley. You're starting this game. There we go. Oh, and they have a partnership as well. Fan W C. This is how we're lining out. Uh, we only have one player <laughs> in our team who isn't on the bench or playing this game. We um we have a very very small squad, so should be interesting. Um, passionately tell the lads to uh impress me. Nope, nobody cares. Okay. Well, I had um, I held the team meeting and they were like, oh, we can't wait for a manager who has no footballing experience to take over and uh, show us what he uh, what he thinks he can do. So I'm a little bit weary that the, the game is kicked off and there's an instant highlight. But, okay, I feel like, yeah. Extended highlights, no, thank you. We're going for key highlights. Um, God damn it. Connor English with his first of the season. Oh, of course. Replay camera's going to be behind goal. I'm pretty sure this is how I had it. Let's have a look and see how we conceded our first goal. Just really poor defending. It has to be said. Five Less than five minutes in, we've already conceded. Sounds about right. Our best player, Fleming, 
not having a great start. Our left back, not having a great start. Pretty much everyone else in the team, not having a great game. Going to demand more. The lads are focused. Okay. Um, I miss Haaland. <laughs> I miss having Haaland. Um, with this tactic, it does get us to play more direct. I don't really... Not really a fan of more direct football. But, you know, we'll do it. Um, a rare, yep, knew he's getting sent off. You're not a ball winning midfielder, buddy. You're just a halfback. But, okay, well, that's our DM gun. That's why I don't play with DMs. But we don't have an attacking midfielder. So, yep, show me something else in the second half. Uh, Fleming. I'm pretty sure he's aware that he is the only right back <laughs> at the club. Um, we do need to find somebody who can play at right back. Like Taylor can play right back. I could bring on Lyons or O'Connor to play left back. But Fleming is he's he's a really good player. It's really frustrating. I want him to be. I want him to be good. I want him to do the things. O'Leary back to Taylor. Little ball across, literally nobody. McSweeney with the header away. Doesn't quite make it beyond Wexford's players. The fact that we're losing to Wexford is soul destroying. My lad with the save. I'm uh, I'm less than happy currently. Pierce. Hurley got it away and Fleming picks it up. Both our fullbacks are now playing horrendously. Hmm. O'Sullivan or O'Sullivan Murphy loses the header Lamb wins the ball back O'Leary Hurley O'Sullivan did not look like he kicked that football but alright Kenny picks it up big ball over the top Furlong lovely tackle by uh, Taylor obviously a penalty you know it's a perfect tackle we're going to concede a second goal there's no way my lad saving it yeah Danny Furlong, fifth of the season. Um, I'm starting to think that maybe a 4 4 2 could be an option. Fleming to Turner. Puts it forward. Murphy gets a hold of the ball to Lamb. Cross to Taylor. O'Leary. Do something with it. Back to O'Sullivan. Big ball forward. Nobody's there. Furlong, Fox, O'Leary, beautiful tackle, wins the ball, gets it to Murphy, who is, to be fair, he's very, very alone, but he's on to the end of this, Murphy, oh, so close, um, 310 players have showed up to this game, 34 of them have travelled all the way from Cove to Wexford, I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it a little bit of a lie, that that many people would travel from Wex or from Cove to Wexford, but by all means, pretend like that happened. Um, nobody in our back lane is playing well, so we're just going to make two changes. We'll bring lines on at left back and move O'Connor over. Fleming's come off. Um, this is a direct, direct counter attack. I thought we played fluid counter attack. Counter attack. Oh, Lions getting sent off, isn't it? Lions is off. Or yellow card. Yep, straight red. Okay. Well, not ideal. In case you're. Um, not aware. Not ideal to get a player, two players sent off in your first game. Um, we're going to go for a bit of a madness here. You're going to be a libero. On attack. We're two down. All our substitutions are made. We've just brought a DM slash centre midfielder on in centre back. We're already of the players. Not ideal. 
he was on the pitch five minutes before he got sent off. Alright, so Wexford are going to be equal on points with us after this game. My two centre backs decided to just play everyone in Wexford onside. Turner. McSweeney hits the crossbar. I did honestly think that playing cautious was a good idea. Um, not so much anymore. No, I'm thinking we just go balls to the wall attack for the game against Galway. Who, to be fair to them, are third. I think we just let it all hang out for the second game. We just absolutely smash some faces. Fleming, you were, oh my god, they were so bad. <clears throat> Not ideal. I will, I will say. Not ideal. Um, and Lions has been banned Well, Dismissal for bad tackle was harsh. And you should consider appealing the ban. I shall. I shall indeed. That means for the Galway game, which is in two weeks. We're lacking um, cent uh, two, two of our centre backs are, are no longer available, and a guy who can play at DM or centre back not available. If we do play the four four two, we have no strikers on the bench. Hmm. Well, while I try and figure out this conundrum, you guys go nowhere. Stay right where you are. We're going to be back to play the Galway game in just a second. <laughs> oh God! What have I done? Alright fellas, we're now back for the game against Galway. Um It's been interesting. We're um pretty much guaranteed to lose this game. So you know, ideal time to try a new tact a slightly different tactic. Not new, just different in a different kind of way. Um the the lads have kind of my I think it's the assistant manager is doing all this. He's got a bit mad. Um brought in a new right midfielder who I'm teaching to be a make he's a currently a makeshift right back. Um 16 year old looks okay. For this level he's good. Um uh, Eric Kiley is another Philly Philly fellow from Bally Buffet, unambitious, of course he is. Every goddamn region is unambitious. But he's got good finishing, good acceleration, good agility, good pace. Doesn't look a terrible player. And a guy who's just arrived today, Keith Brown, who is naturally fit and very angry. I like it. Um, one thing I did forget to mention was youth candidate. We've been given this um they reckon it's going to be a golden generation um we don't have any great number of players coming through in any single position we haven't any new wing backs coming through it's fine most of the center backs are terrible most of the center midfielders don't look good enough for the first team attack midfielders are below their required standard and not many good wingers but it's a golden generation right we've at least one fullback that's, that has plenty of promise one Wide midfielder looks a great prospect. One forward who looks fine. Um, one young, one good Irish. Oh my god. One good young Irish right back from Cove, local boy, has caught the eye. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a golden generation, lads. I cannot wait. Um, don't know when that's going to happen yet. I'm not 100% sure what the date for Irish youth intake is. But this is the team we're going to play today. Um, as you can see, we have a couple of players in on trial. Just giving the lads an opportunity to show me that they're not as bad as they smell. Um, still, without the two lads suspended, Charlie Lyons couldn't quite get beyond the, you know, being sent off and it looking harsh. He's just been sent off. And, yeah. 
the less said about that the better. We're going to try out Sullivan as a centre back on defend for this game. Um, we're going for the four four two. We're going to play my lad in goal again because why not? Actually, no, we are, we're we're not. We're going to play Hunt, but I'm going to make him a goalkeeper because I don't really trust sweeper keepers at this level. Taylor's going to play as an inverted wing back, and O'Connor is going to play as a full back on defend because. What else are we going to do? Uh, we have McSweeney and O'Sullivan continuing as our centre-backs. Turner, Hurley, Lamb and O'Leary are going to play as our four-man midfield. Turner is going to play a little deeper on the support. O'Leary is going to play more attacking because this the, uh, wide attacking midfield is more his position. Leonard is going to start this game as a poacher. And Murphy is going to start as a pressing forward because that's pretty much best role other than okay I don't really want to give you the number three do you know what Eric Kiley you're gonna be number three instead of the number 10 because he's a striker which would make sense we're gonna give him number three because I like to have a striker that has the number three Stephen Christopher yeah you played for Cove last year oh he's gone to Galway um, Adam Rooney, they're from Mayview United. Interesting. Um, I'm hoping that the four four two just, yeah, avenge. Don't know what happened last time we played G. I know we lost, but I don't. I wasn't a part of that. So, yeah, I got grab some. They seem confused. I have confused my strikers by asking them to. To score goals. Yeah. Makes. Makes sense. Hey strikers. Do you want to score some goals? Huh? You want. You want, you want us to score goals? But boss. I know we've just conceded. I'm not really interested in. I'm not I'm just. I haven't done. Set piece tactics. To be fair Hunt was very unlucky. The ball. Pinged about like a bunch of seven year olds were playing, and because of that, Wexford, who are drawing with Athlone, oh, Athlone and Limerick, okay, Limerick have just gone behind against Bray. Name. I forgot what playing cautious was like. Playing more defensive, cautious. This is very different to how uh, I've played. Pretty much every series that I've done, it's just every football manager save I've done recently has been attacking. So the fact that we're playing cautious is strange. McSweeney punts it forward. Leonard. Oh it was oh it was blocked by somebody and hit the post and I yeah, I should probably set up Oh. Okay, it's only a yellow. It's fine. That's fine. I don't like the fact that there's a highlight again. McSweeney. Big ball forward. Nobody's there, but oh, beautiful tackle by Hurley. Leonard. Hurley. Murphy. From distance. Matthew Lamb, you absolute beauty. Oh, Matthew Lamb. Brian Murphy with the assist. To be fair, he was trying to score, but Hurley passes it to Murphy. Murphy just pings it from really far away, hits the woodwork, and Lamb pounces on it. Faster than, faster than Usain Bolt was the man. Two shots on target in the entire game for both teams. And they're both goals. Yeah, let's go out there and express yourselves. I kind of want to bring Kylie on and play a poacher advance forward. What a goal. Connor Barry. That was spectacular. Well done. That was a fruity, beautiful goal. I don't want to watch it again because it was against us. But it was a good goal. Nonetheless. O'Sullivan. Tried to get to Leonard. But Horgan. 
picks it up. Galway keeper. We were told we were facing the impossible. We've actually scored in this game. So impossible it may be. We've still managed to do better in this game than we did against Wexford. Wexford, of all the clubs in Ireland, Wexford like. Guan O'Leary, Guan My Son, Lam, beautiful ball forward, all Leonard's on it. Leonard's on it. And I think he tried to dink the keeper. Didn't really work out for him. Turner to take the corner. Again, haven't set up my corner routine. Don't think we've anyone tall enough to actually make use of my corner routine. But still. Murphy gets tackled. Oh, Max Sweeney. Lovely little clearance. Interestingly, Max Sweeney last year was uh, left footed. This year he's right only. So. Murphy. Oh. What a goal that would have been. I, th I don't think Hurley's played that badly that he should be getting a 6.2. I'm going to take Leonard off and bring on Kylie. But I'm going to make Kylie an advanced forward and move Brian Murphy to a potter. Um, O'Connor is dying. So we're going to bring on Charlie Fleming and move Taylor over to left back but make him a wing back on support. Yeah. O'Sullivan, not having a great game. Don't have anyone to bring on for him. Turner, it gets cleared, but... <sighs> Alright, Mr. Lamb. Forget playmaking, just play football. Do... We're down to one centre back. I think the two lads who got sent off in the, the Wexford game are back after this game. So they'll be here for is it Athlone we're playing? Kylie on his debut oh, just puts a wide. Fleming to Murphy. Fleming. Kyle a lamb's onto it. Matthew Lamb just set him to attack and the man will do everything. He's a decent playmaker. Can't really do it. But oh, put it, set him to attack. The man goes mental. A one man midfield. And he's up there scoring goals. There's a new hot fix out for football managers. So you will know when I'm recording this. <laughs> Matthew Lamb. You absolute beast. Telling us we need to be careful. No, 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 no. Attacking by us. Attacking. Has. No, he's not outside. Because our left back, by the looks of it, was keeping him on. We're going to go back to cautious. Christopher, who left us to join Galway. Lamb, heads clear. Kylie picks it up, and the highlight ends. O'Leary. He's a little tired. He's also not playing all that well. Can't really. Yeah, I'm just going to take Leary off and bring on. Move Turner to the left. and Yeah, we'll take O'Leary off and bring on Matt or Jake Gorman. Why do I think his name is Matthew? You can be attack. Oh, yeah. I've got two young lads playing out. 16 year olds. Two of them baiting around the place. Like lunatics. The last time we played a bunch of teenagers in Ireland. We uh, were playing in the international save I did last year, Hungary for Success, where we were managing, when we took over in Ireland, I played a couple of 19 year olds and two of them scored, I think. I remember one of them scored. He was quite good. But with 10 seconds left, we have a throw in. Fleming, tell anyone to go forward. No, no, no. Just throw the goddamn ball, Fleming. You're just going to stand there until, yeah. Lamb. Loses the Bubba Fleming, picks it back up. Shocking cross. That was terrible. 27 Cove Rumblers fans went to Galway to see us score twice. Well done, lads. You've 
just proved a lot of people wrong in avoiding defeat there. So, we came back and scored that second goal after going down to 10 men. Wexford and Athlone drew. That makes me slightly weary of Athlone Town, even though I know they're shite. I'm still a little weary, but we managed to pull a point off of Galway, who were the third best team in the division, somehow. Gorman. And Kylie, boat make, he's worth 10k. I'm just seeing like dollar signs, 15.75. Could mm. make some money off those these people. Lamb impresses. Lamb was fantastic. Every shot he took was on target. So I think what we, we do for the next game is maybe put him as a central midfielder on attack. Maybe. Um, Kevin Taylor is suspended. So, interesting turn of events there. We'll have an old sconcy diddly doodly off to see who we're playing next. When I have to draw for that's going to be pretty soon, I would imagine, since the game is in less than a month's time. I think we come back for. I, we just we'll do the last four in the next two episodes. We we'll do Athlone Town and Shelburne, and then Longford and Wexford, unless the Senior Challenge Cup becomes something we do well in. Um, if we get out of the first round, and it jumps in here somewhere, I want to play the Athlone game because I think that's a game we can win. I know we're going to Mullingar, not Mullingar, Westmead to play them, but still, you know. Could happen. And then the lads who told us to piss off. Mm. Mm. Hopefully we'll have some players, some extra players for that game. Because uh, we have only brought three players in since we... Um, Denzel Fernandez, huh? The Indian Irish fella who, when I was managing Cove before, left to go to... Azerbaijan in FM19 on a stream save. Didn't bring him, him with me. I brought Max Sweeney with me, who's our centre back. But then when I went to manage in India with. Um, what was their name? What was the name of the club I took over in India? They're not real names here. Delightful. Indian National Football League. Is there any. East Bengal. When I took over at East Bengal. I brought him to play with us. And uh, yeah, one thing I would say, India is quite a difficult league to manage in. Be weary of what you do. I signed a couple of players and suddenly I had, I had too many foreign people and I didn't like it. But this could have been worse. A 2-2 draw away from home and a 2-0 defeat. Not ideal. But like I said, we're going to come back for Athlone Shelburne in the next game the next episode hopefully that will be good Ho yeah if you've enjoyed please make sure to leave a like comment subscribe share with all your friends and um i'll see you next time bye, -bye.